Shifting focus to the situation in Karnataka right now, where heavy rains have lashed Bengaluru on Sunday night, leaving the city roads inundated once again. Now, even before it could recover from the havoc from the previous week, the outer ring road has once again gotten heavily waterlogged. Even the canteen in Vidhan Sawdar's basement was flooded. In fact, the Met Department has predicted heavy rainfall till Wednesday for Bengaluru. The city, along with 17 other districts, have been put under a yellow alert. Water supply has also been affected in large parts of the city. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Basavaraj Bomai has said that he will be calling on IT companies and speaking with them on the issues they are facing due to the waterlogging. We are on the Balegere Panathur Road and you can see behind me the road is completely flooded. Residents having a tough time reaching their houses or many of them have been cut off from the main road. There are at least four to five apartment complexes in the vicinity that have been inundated. In fact, the basement has been flooded. Several cars have been damaged because of this. But with water not clearing, they can't even get their cars repaired. And it's the delivery boys who are also having a tough time in ensuring that supply reaches home. In fact, boats were deployed in the morning to ensure that essential supplies are delivered to these residential complexes. Only if people having a SUV can dare cross this road. There's no question of a sedan or any other sort of a car passing through. There are tractors which are helping out nearby residents. But otherwise, it's a terrible Monday for all these people here. Many of them have missed offices. People who have had uh, medical emergencies have had a nightmare of a time. Students have missed their classes as well. This is the Panatu Lake that has overflown and has been breached and this entire stretch getting flooded there are at least four to five complexes uh, apartment complexes which have seen their basements getting flooded and uh, people being cut off from access to the main road almost being reduced to islands of sorts overnight heavy rains that lashed bengaluru has resulted in waterlogging in several parts of the city we are coming to you from Sarjapur Road outside the Vipro office, you can see the entire campus approach road has been inundated completely and this is the scene across Sarjapura Road. Well, not just Sarjapura Road, several IT companies located in Maratahali and Bomanahali and especially in Madhepura zone have been affected because of heavy rains. This has also resulted in huge traffic snarls, almost a gridlock of sorts on Sarjapura Road, on Outer Ring Road, once again, you have the road opposite to the eco space on Belandur completely inundated, resulting in heavy traffic snarls. People going to office on a Monday morning having a terrible time. There are reports of traffic pile up to a good three to four kilometers on Sarjapur Road. Now, remember, just last week the city had suffered heavy rains, after which the city also saw the chief minister go on an inspection drive and assure people that there would be actions taken that would ensure that such things don't repeat. But within a few days, we've seen the empty promises of the state government getting terribly exposed. Now, there are questions on how the city is administered. People are asking why the city doesn't have a development minister, city development minister, dedicated city in charge minister because the chief minister is the one who holds that portfolio currently. He might not have enough time to give on a day-to-day -day basis for city's administration and its issues. We do not have an elected council here, municipal council, for the last two years. The BBMP is without a mayor, without corporators. It's the bureaucrats and the 28 MLAs of the city who are currently governing the city and not doing a great job. The other aspect one has to point out here is that all this flooding that you see here is also partially because the lakes in the vicinity have been breached. They have been encroached. In some cases, their capacity has been reduced. As a result, when it rains, the rainwater has nowhere to go and then flows on the road. In some places, it's the encroachment of the Rajakalways which has led to this. The government says in excess of 1,000 such encroachments identified, only 500 of them cleared, 500 odd yet to be cleared, and the government says in the coming few days they will, they will ensure that the encroachments are removed.
it looks like the cloud all of a sudden it all burst open uh, on top of uh, you know this area and there were a lot of many accidents uh, in the area you know cars were stuck people were slipping there were many accidents some of the you know uh, localized had to take shelter in our apartment it was chaos everywhere we are not looking at the plight of the citizens out here we are getting in trouble we are facing the brunt of of their mismanagement they where are the civic amenities they should have been here they should have been do, doing some clearing of the water but where will they clear the water also they don't have a proper drainage system